few pieces, but you know, with me hating assemble, I welcome it as a good thing, you know? How stupid. The Hey guys, my name is Bando, this is Brexit Bando, and I'm here just to make a bit of a comment on, I'm going to butcher this name, Atraxia Painting Studios, I hope that's right, Atraxia Painting Studios, I'll just uh, drag it up so you can see the name, there you go, Ataraxia, doesn't matter. Um, so, Ataraxia has gone off and done this video about um, being a little bit upset with buying one of her recent purchases. Um, she purchased a copy of the new Lord of the Rings starter set uh, for about 160 euros. Um, we haven't covered the Lord of the Rings stuff here on this channel much, uh, and it is something I'd like to do because I, I quite enjoy the Lord of the Rings game. I love the Lord of the Rings films, and I have had all three of the original when they first released. With each film, I bought the box sets that came out with each of them. And I really like them. I like the models, I like the setting. Uh, New Line Cinema's Lord of the Rings is a phenomenal telling of that story. But this video, she's very disappointed with this box set. Um, because of the age of the models. A lot of the models are... I mean, in fact, all of the models bar about three or four are original releases. Which means they are close to, if not over, 20 years old. Now, let's just skip through this video. I'm not going to go through it again. Just like the last time I did something like this, I don't want to steal someone's thunder. So I do strongly recommend going and watching this video. So you can see here, you've got some single-piece orcs. These these orcs are relatively old models now. Um, the Rohan soldiers that were in the last one, the... Um, the, Os it's the, the, the Defenders of Osgilia, I think this one's called. And you have very few models in this set. Um, trying to find some more pictures of it. You know, the uh, the, the Warriors of Minas Tirith. Um, the Warriors of Minas Tirith came out when... Uh, I think they might have even come out first. I think they might have been one of the first releases they came out with Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Which is a long time ago. And what I want to talk about here is, I, I'm not commenting on this video. This is a good video. I like this video. Um, please go and watch, you know, Ataraxia's content. Go give this video uh, a watch, you know. Listen to it. I've got nothing negative to say about this video at all, okay? So this isn't a comment on this channel. I wanted to talk about the age of models. What is an acceptable age for a model to be replaced? We've had this a lot in 40k at the moment with a lot of Warhammer models. Let's go to the horrible Warhammer website, shall we? Um, go away. We have a lot of models on Warhammer. Um, I can't even find where to go. They have been replaced recently. So let's go just to Space Marines. We'll go to Ultramarines, because why not? And probably the, the biggest one at the moment is the Terminators. The Terminators have recently been replaced. Now, I remember when a box of Terminators was five guys like this, and they were all metal. Yes, I'm old. Um, the box was about £25. You got five Terminators, which were a body with legs and obviously two arms. They didn't have separate heads. The sergeant had a power sword, and I think they came with either an, they came with an assault cannon. And I think there was like a little weird tilt shield for the assault cannon guy. And that was about it. And they were led. They were replaced with a white metal version. Eventually they were replaced with a monopose single piece. Or a very similar. I think it was uh, legs, back of torso, front of torso. Or legs and back of torso was one piece. Front of torso was a separate piece with the head molded into it. And then the arms. And eventually they went on to the plastic kits, more or less, that we know nowadays, over the last 30 years. And obviously they've now got this new version, the newer... I don't like calling them Primaris Terminators. I don't think they are Primaris Terminators in my view. They're just Terminators. Um, so you have the latest version, which, you know, they're a relatively monopose, but they're as, you know, they're as good as we're going to get. But then we have a model 
that's, oh, I don't know, the Predator Annihilator, for example. The Predator Annihilator is on its second iteration. Or well, accurately, this Predator Annihilator is on its first iteration. Because you had the Rogue Trader Predator, which had an auto cannon, And then, in third edition, you had the release of this Predator. It was not £42.50 at release, I will tell you that for nothing. Um, I like this model. To me, this model is still usable. Um... I do not have a problem with the level of detail in this model. But this model would be old enough to go to America and buy a drink if it wanted to. Um, we've got a replacement. We have a new version. We have the Dimos Predators now as well. Um, is it better? I don't think so. I think it's comparable. I think it's different. But I don't think it's particularly better or that this is particularly worse. They're just different variations of this vehicle um would i like a new mars pattern predator annihilator no i don't need one but it's 20 odd years old let's look at something else that's been replaced or you know should be replaced we've had the replace to the speeder so the old land speeder came out in third edition then we got the land speeder typhoon slightly later and then they basically amalgamated the two kits into one piece and we got a kind of update kit which was very common between sort of 5th edition to 7th edition a lot of kits got recut they got subtle updates like the tactical squad they got slight changes they were slightly new sculpts in certain parts but the majority of the actual kit itself stayed the same another one like that is the Lehman Russ the Lehman Russ was slightly tweaked but then you have major changes, like the Storm Speeder Thunderstrike. So the Storm Speeder is a completely different vehicle. Now we know what it's here for. It's here to replace the Land Speeder. Okay, fine. Aesthetically, I don't like it. I don't think it's a good replacement. It doesn't do it for me. But we have a new model in, you know, 10, 15 years. When should this be replaced? Is this going to last 30 years? The Tactical Squad, as I said, the Tactical Squad was slightly edited. Things like the Grav Guns were put in. Um, the Mark Eight armor for the Sergeant was tweaked. The sprues were recut. Sorry, I've got constant indigestion because I'm an old man. <sighs> you know, there were subtle changes to this kit. And they did it with all of the firstborn kits, like the Assault Squad, the Devastator Squad. Um, the old Devastator Squad didn't have things like grav guns. It had a metal heavy bolter, a metal las cannon, a metal. Um, oh, what was it? Plasma cannon. That sort of thing. And then it was replaced with this plastic one. That's a good upgrade. When will this be replaced? Relatively soon, I'd probably guess. Same with the Vanguard Veteran Squad. I expect them to be replaced relatively soon. But let's look at something like this. The Primaris Librarian and Phobos armor came out with um, the Nachtman Rift box set, I think it was, which is only a couple of years ago. Maybe just before COVID-ish. I would say less than five years. Not long after 8th edition started. I don't know the exact dates. I wish there was a website to see what all the exact dates were and how much stuff cost at release. I'd love that. That'd be really useful. Now, I don't like this model. I think it looks a bit dumb. I think the leather chest bit is really dumb. Um, I like the pose, and I don't mind it's in Phobos armor. Phobos armor is actually my favorite looking of the Primaris armor. Um, and I get what they're going for with this like stealth cloak and everything. But it's all thrown out by this horrible leather jerkin underneath it. And will we see a replacement for this model? Should we see a replacement for this model? When is it acceptable? Because Games Workshop wants us to buy this model again. Okay, There's no secret that Games Workshop wants us to keep buying these models as many times as they can sell them to us. Which is absolutely fine. You know, I'm okay with that. That's the idea of a free business. Make people buy your product. And I would buy a Phobos library if I had a army that needed one. Were they to release a new one? If it was in a good pose, possibly. 
but does it mean this one needs replacing? It's perfectly serviceable, I can clearly tell what it is. But does it? When does it need replacing? Well, at what point do we say that a model is outdated? You know, this Primaris Lieutenant with Power Sword. Does this model need replacing? I'd kind of say yes. I think it's a pretty bad model, if I'm going to be brutally honest. Look how boring it is. It's a very good for, like, a starter set model. But as a as a as an actual kit, no, I don't think we need this. I think that could be replaced. Um, what else? I mean, the Rhino. Here's another one. The Rhino has been around for again close to thirty years. This came out in third edition. Um, we got to see this thing in you know the glorious colours of people like the Black Templars, and it was available very shortly after. Um, third edition dropped, and it was it was a radical change because you know we'd had the rogue trader era, very you know the Dimos style um, rogue trader rhino before, and we was a lot of like oh no I don't know about replacing my rhinos, am I going to have to replace all my predators? Well yes because the predator came out shortly after, and then the whirlwind comes along, and now these have been around longer than those were ever around. Does this need replacing? Again, no, I do not think this model needs replacing. But we do kind of have this thing where some models get replaced. And when do you guys think that it's... How long is the lifetime of a model? Do we have a model forever? Would you be happy with, you know, the, the Pri Primaris Intercessor Squad, for example? Going forward, is that what you want? As long as, you know, they match the rules, they have the parts. Are you happy with that level of model? Are you happy with that model being as it is? Do you want models coming out on a more regular basis as technology progresses? Because me personally, I'm happy to use this Rhino. I like this kit. The tracks are a pig. The tracks have always been a pig. But I'm happy with the model. I know the foibles about it, I know how to put it together, I know how to hide all the horrible joints. What I don't like is that this model keeps going up in price. This model has easily paid off its mould. This model would probably have paid off its mould if it's had to replace its mould. But it's a good model for what it is. That looks really cool, I don't know what it is, that, just, that angle's great. But it's an old model. You can see by just how much space is on these sprues and the way they're laid out. This is old technology. They could recut these sprues, remake the mold, re-release it, and you know, you could almost fit most of this onto one sprue nowadays. Maybe two sprues. So we can get this down, we can shrink the box size then. The Land Raider. It's another one that's probably going to be replaced shortly. But then we got stuff like this. Here we go. The Primaris Interceptors. I don't like these models. I think they look dumb. These came out with 8th edition. So these are, what, 6 years old? Um, will these get replaced soon? Will these get... Because these have never got a multi-part like box. Um, oh, these... Uh, not these ones, sorry. I mean, the multi-part in the sense that they have two different guns you can take, and that's it. Now, the ones I meant were the... Suppressors? I can't remember what they're called. The ones with the auto cannons that I can't even seem to see on here anymore. They've stopped selling them completely? <laughs> you can't even get them anymore. That's brilliant. So, yeah, the ones with the auto cannons are no longer available. So, why not? Should they be replaced? What's going on? With the upcoming release of the old world, where we have a lot of models that are going to be replaced. Any pictures of models in here? There is no pictures of models in here. This is great. So the old world is going to come out, and it's going to come out with a lot of old models in it. <clears throat> 
have we got the preview with all the Bretonian stuff because that'll show. You'd think I should be able to put these videos together and have everything ready, but nah, we do it live here. Um, da, 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 da. Come on, lots of dead air. Da, 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 I can't find it. There we go. So, this is a nice new model. Great, we're going to have this for a while. It's going to be really cool. Oh look, it's the King of Britonia. These guys are new models. Very divisive. Lots of people didn't like them. I think they look dumb. Old models. Old models. Old models. Old models. Lovely model. All lovely models. How can you get the aesthetic so right with these and just dump it so badly with these ones? I don't get it. I seriously, again, can't get over how nice these two models are as well. Old model. So, when should we replace these Bretonian Knights as a kit? Again, these are 15, 20 years old. Technically, they haven't been available since Age of Sigma was a thing. But you're, as someone who's 15, 16, 20 years old, coming into the hobby, you've decided to get into the old world because you see all these guys chatting about it and how great it is. Maybe you've played the old world, um, or sorry, Total War, Warhammer, and you love Bretonians. Why not? They're pretty cool. You pick this box up, you get these knights, and you open them up, and you get sprues that look, you know, with all the space on them. I hate this website so much. You know, you get sprues that look like this when you're used to sprues being packed together like this. And you go, why is there so much space? Where's the options? Where's the the bits, you know? And instead, I can't even find it. I give up. Instead, I love this piece of art, so I'm going to leave it on here until I finish. Um, you know, you get old models. Well, when should we replace them? When's it okay to replace them? I love new models. Everyone loves new models. Um... I'm not sure where I'm going with this now. What I'm trying to say is, um, is it acceptable to replace models? Do models need replacing? What do you guys think? Do you, do you think that models have a lifespan? You know, should we just, on principle, say, once a model's hit 20 years old, we're going to replace it with a sculpt? Because I mean, I, I was here during sixth and seventh edition, and I saw some of the stuff like the Chaos Possessed and a lot of the fantasy range and stuff right near the end and some of those models were awful sculpts the old metal or fine cast era possessed they lasted like two years and they were gone so do you guys think that models have a shelf life per se I mean I know a lot of us don't have problems playing against older models you know a lot of the guys who watch this channel you guys have got older models, you've got older armies, you're going to keep using them because you don't want to buy the new ones. I get that, and that's fine. But what I mean is, should we have ever replaced the RTB01 Beaky Marine? Or, you know, when are we going to replace the Primaris Marine? When do they get squatted? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it's an interesting conversation to have, that how long can you keep selling a model before it becomes outdated because back to this young lady and her complaint about these old older models what's acceptable to you guys I, I like the Lord of the Rings models, but I'd be very happy if they got some new sculpts. I'd be very happy. Actually, let me just let me show you this because there's a lot of guys out there who don't actually look at the Lord of the Rings stuff. 
So we'll start here. These are three of the more the newer sculpts. You can tell they've got that specialist games look about them. Um, it you know the way they're painted, the nice they've got good quality sculpts. They're nice models. Yeah, good Faramir and a couple of his rangers. Nice models, good details. You know, they're actually slightly smaller than regular Warhammer. As part of the contract with New Line Cinema, was they couldn't be compatible with Warhammer models, so they are a different scale. Good, well-packed sprue. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. There's no space wasted. And then, let's look at. Do, 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 do. If I can find them, the Riders of Rohan. The Rohirrim. Who I love. I think the Riders of Rohan are great. In fact, I'd love to start a Riders of Rohan army. Here we go. £30 for these guys. Let me see. Lots of repeated poses. Okay? Because that's your sprue. 12 guys with shields. No changing the weapons. Nothing. They're all monopose. They're as monopose as you can, you know, if you haven't got a drill or a saw. But the quality, look at them. They are not sharp details. These are still, these are old hand sculpted models. And they're lovely sculpting. Don't get me wrong. But these do not hold a candle to the new releases. So would it be okay to re-release these guys? Yes, I think it would. It'd be fantastic. As long as you make sure that the box is bigger than this, with like multiple options, I'd be absolutely fine with them being re-released. I think these are great. They're also very easy to paint. Literally, it's brown, some metal, some gold, some green, brown wash. That's all you need. I will be doing some more Lord of the Rings content on this channel because I do want to get back into it. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Let me know if I've just been rambling for 22 minutes. Um, or let me know, is, is the, do these models have a shelf life? Should they be re replaced eventually? Or are you guys quite happy when you get a model that we should just say, okay, now move on to something next? Because I get it, you know, we get the constant re-release of Space Marines. And I'd love to see a re-release of, you know, more Eldar, more Dark Eldar, more anything than more Space Marines. I think that's all I've got tonight, guys. I'm sorry it's been a bit rambly. This was just a thought that came to me when I watched this video, so I didn't really plan it out. It's just been one of those kind of organic vomiting of ideas. So, I probably haven't made myself very clear on my point of view on this, um... And I may have contradicted myself several times. So make sure that if you're one of those people that likes to call people grognards, you come and tell me that. And for the rest of you, um, I will see you tomorrow for the live stream um, where we will be doing some more painting. Uh, we're getting through our backlog with um, you know the models we don't like to paint. I'm going to be trying to get through some Blood Angels. My name is Bando. This is Brooks and Bando. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you, especially those of you that comment. And please remember that if you are picking up some Lord of the Rings models, maybe, you can always get them cheaper at places like Element Games using my code in the description to get yourself double reward points. And if you get more reward points, you can get models for free. I mean, that's pretty good. You get double, I get double. Nice. Have fun, guys. Stay safe. And um, give your parents a call. Give someone in your life who's important to you a call you haven't spoken to in a while. I'm in one of those kind of moods. So go, go, go phone someone up you've not spoken to in a while and just check in on them. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.